Okay, so let's uh, try this um, problem. And uh, let's just do it from the perspective of looking at the periodic table. Okay, uh, so if we've talked about transition uh, elements and, or things past the D block, then that's cool. You should know about the N plus L rule, but if not, that's okay. Let, you can still do these problems. Let's just, let's just do it from looking at the periodic table and remember kind of the strange uh, thing that happens when you get to the transition elements. But anyway, so the first one here is iron. Um, it's another good one to memorize if you don't know. Uh, the second one is gallium, but um, it's actually in the uh, four, four P, so uh, it's N equals P, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Anyways, um, so let's just draw the full electron configuration of iron. So um, again, look at the periodic table. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s, 2, 3p6, 4s, 2, so those are all the ones that we've done so far, right, all the way up to calcium, 20 electrons, but now we get into the um, transition elements where um, you actually go back to n equals 3, so uh, you go 3d, so of course, that's the D. Um, uh, block, but anyways, uh, then you just count to where iron is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, what you got to remember is this kind of weird rule of the filling properties of uh, these three D electrons. That actually, the four S electrons are lower in energy. Um, if you don't know about that, just remember that the D's are one lower than the S before it. So, in that case, um, and the P after that, for that matter. In that case, let's do gallium and uh, and show kind of a similar principle, right? So, um, all all the way up to iron, it's the same. Uh, so, one uh, S two, two S two. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then you go all, all the way to 10, right? So, 3d10, so that gets filled after the 4s uh, electrons, and uh, there's five orbitals, so they can hold 10 electrons, and then you go back to fill in the four, um, n equals four uh, electrons, um, four p one. Okay. So you, hopefully you can see how that works, right? But anyways, um, and again, if you know about n plus l, that should make sense. Anyways, uh, so condensed electron configuration, you just do the um, noble gas before it, and They are, okay, and then, okay, 4s2, 3d6, and then here, it's going to be there, so they are 4s2, 3d10, 4p. So hopefully that helps you out uh, doing kind of transition metal stuff.